Hi guys, today I'll be showing you how to make ammonium hydroxide. So the chemicals you'll be needing is ammonium chloride and potassium hydroxide. So you have to measure out 7.5 grams of ammonium chloride and 10.5 grams of potassium hydroxide. You'll have to do a setup and it's supposed to look like this. Okay, so the pH of ammonium hydroxide is about 14, and I'm going to use DI water to make dissolve it in. So this is pH paper and the DI water. So I'll just pour some water in, and as you can see, it turns to an orange, indicating it's a 7 in pH. So, what we have to do now is pour or just add the DI water until it's about two thirds up. Okay, so that's about enough. And then put in this inside the test tubes full of water. And now, quickly mix the potassium hydroxide and the ammonium chloride together and they'll start making ammonia gas okay so here's the ammonium chloride and here's the potassium hydroxide okay. to start the reaction add some water Okay, as you see, I'm going to glass it out. Okay, so that'll be there for about really quick, and I'll show you when it's done. And also, keep on adding water and water until it stops fizzling, and that indicates that it's done. So I'll show you when about halfway. Okay, it's about to stop. And you have to be very cautious, because when it stops generating gas, all the liquid will go back inside so it's like a reflex and you have to try to promote that because that'll suck that happened to me so now add some more water and try to wear everything and you have to wear a gas mask and goggles okay there's reacting more so I'll show you when this is finished okay it's about finished as you can see and the next step is open this with very precaution and add lots of water. So now you could get rid of it and it stops generating well a little ammonia gas. So you can now just put that away and ammonia gas will still come out but in very small quantities. So the next step is get the test tubes and it's very hot because it was reacting with the water to make a hydroxide because the ammonium or ammonia gas is positive and the water is negative so they both hook up okay so now just put the test tube in the ice bath and leave it until it gets cold so I'll show you when that's done. So it's been about three minutes and it's cold now. And to test for it, the pH has to be high in the 14s, like right here, 13, 14. So get a strip out and just get one drop. And as you see, when I put it, it turns to that color. And probably can't see on the camera, but when I get it close, you can see like the fumes changing the pH paper. So this is indicating that it's high on pH, high 
pH, so it's a base, strong base, and stinks. So, for storage, I'm just putting this amber glass. As you can see, I already made previously. Okay, so, just put it in here and pour everything in there. Okay, and there you have it. I'm winning my drop side. So, if you're planning to do this, do this in a fume hall or outside, because this throws a lot of ammonia fumes, which is not safe. Okay, so, please rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.